One, two, three, four. Duff beer for me. Duff beer for you. I'll have a duff. You have one too. Hey, what is going on? It's Distorted Minds. Ha ha. What's up? All kinds of different sound effects and everything. <laughs> Hells yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is this? Episode 74, 75, something, something like that. I don't know. 70s. We're doing a couple tonight, so I don't know which order I'm going to put them in. But hey, it's Kevin Hill. I'm Keith Holland. And today we have an awesome guest phoning in from the Fontana. Oaks. Wait, where are you at? You're not in Fontana. Uh, from California, oh, in, uh, Southern California. I'm in Chino, bro. Quaker Joe on the line in the hot seat. How's it going, bro? What's what going on, do? man? <laughs> it's good to see you. You look. You got a new shaved head, like fucking Fresh Prince. Yeah, you got the Fresh Prince yeah, going. Show on, it right? off. Yeah, oh. yeah. Rate, White Will Smith. Rate oh, and review, shit. and we'll get this episode started. Hit it. <clears throat> So first thing I, uh, we should do is mention that uh, show that we're going to real quick, and uh, because I think this is the last episode before that show, yeah. our buddies show. We got a couple friends in some local bands opening right. up for Flaw. So we want to help them out, put the word out. What tickets are like? What ten bucks? 15? Thirteen. Thirteen bucks. Thirteen. If you get it from the dudes, I don't know about if you go online. Day okay, online and day of. Shout out to Brandon Cobb and yeah. uh, you everybody, know, in Aaron DeHart and them. Yeah. So we got Flaw coming March thirteenth at the Emerson Theater. Theater. Yeah. <laughs> we got the Righteous Few, Mantra of Morta, Identity Unknown, Parahound. We got Hudson Hill and Adians. That's right, motherfuckers. So it'll be a Saturday on March 13th uh, at the Emerson Theater. Uh, doors open at 6.30 and the show start at 7. It's an all-ages show. So if you want to take your kids to the first concert... This is the show to do it. We're getting our tickets tomorrow. Yep, we'll so be there. be there or be square. I'm going to be there and be square. <laughs> cool. So, uh, what's up, Joe, man? How are things going? I just got back from Mexico. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. What was well, you doing be, uh, south of the border? Before we do that, I want to kind of take wait. this off because it's... Oh, it's yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Real quick, real quick. My baby. Huh? One real second, quick. real quick. Keith got uh, uh, something he yeah, wants to gotta think of what do, do real so quick. I've been wearing this mask, and I think it's finally time to take it off. He's taking off there the mask, go. Joe. I'm going to give you a... Cause keepers got new teefers. Ah. I knew you could do it, man. I knew you could do it. Yeah. He's got new teefers. Hell Zoom yeah. in on the teefers, Keith. Show them. <laughs> Are you playing games right now? Totally play. Oh, no, you... I when you guys were uh, doing the whole speech, I was just like, okay. There's yeah, thing, man, gotta, they're doing a the thing. I got a couple of minutes. We just have to help promote our buddy's band, you know, yeah, and man. shit. We're going to see Flock. Concerts, I feel like, are slowly coming back. If I was Man. in Indiana, bro, I'd been right there going to, bro. But fucking, I'm all the way up here. Fuck, that don't include me. Yeah, I know. We just uh, had to. We just had to do it real quick. <laughs> yeah. You know? We just had to, you know, get it out like, there real quick, as like a first. Yeah, get it out there. Let it be known. And now we can convo, man. But any hoozle, we want to hear your south of the border story. 
Yeah, man, like fucking, <laughs> it was crazy because you know you see, you see little kids that are like like fucking uh, what is it like seven years old, six years old yeah. driving cars and shit. <laughs> yeah. Car. Well, shit, I see that in my apartment complex all the dude, time. This guy, I was like, dude, this kid just got. This kid just got done. He just got done with the pull-ups, bro, like the other day. This was already driving a car and shit. <laughs> I'm like, wow, bro. So insane. where exactly did you go in Mexico? Uh, Guadalajara, Jalisco. Hell, yeah. I don't know where that is, but sounds legit. <laughs> it, it, it's in a small It's in a small little place called West Calapa. West Calapa. <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, uh, Scott. Scalpia, your old band name? Yeah. It's Scapula. kind of like West Coast Capalapa. Like, it sounds like that. West like, Coast Capalapa. Like West, West Capalapa, bro. That shit's fucking and you had like some... a little-ass town, bro. It's not even on the map, bro. What Damn. was the reason for going down there? Oh, the, me and my baby mama's family. Oh, yeah? Fuck it. Yeah, I... I, never met, I, mean, I never met her dad and shit, so. That's cool. That's How'd that go? Dad. Pretty good? Oh, man, shit. Uh, this is like a whole thing, really. Like, like, <laughs> we don't have to cool, get in. We don't like, have to like, get into it if you don't want to. No, no, it was cool, but we we ended up we didn't end on a good note. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Dope. It was like because he don't know a lot of English, but like his last word, like he didn't say a lot of shit to me. But like the one thing he did say in English was like the most I ever heard him say was like, he's like, you don't like Mexico. Fucking, you could go home. Fucking, too much fucking problems. And I was like, oh shit. Like, that was it. Were you talking shit or what? <laughs> or were you like, man, this kind of sucks. No, the, the, the mom, the, the mom, my girl's mom, fucking, um, cause she used to live over here, and but she's over there now, fucking, um, and she she tried to slam the door on my foot, and she fucking and she tried to hit me in the head with the broomstick. And I was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> them Mexican moms, yeah, was, man. They'll get yeah, you. Dude, like, she didn't try, try to like hit you with a flip flop. <laughs> throw the chancla at you. I was wearing I was wearing chanclas and she tried to <laughs> smash the door, the car door on my foot. I was like, "Fuck, this bitch is crazy." <laughs> oh but, man, I'm American. You can't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it was like fucking. I, I told her, I go, hey, they don't mess with me. I got a pistola. <laughs> <laughs> packing, packing pistolas. She was like, on. <laughs> so, uh, what else, what else happened there, man? Did you, I uh, caught some tags over there. They're like on a third story, like over store. I caught tags basically on her <laughs> store, but not like on her store. Like here's her store, right? Right. And then there's like. Three, one, two, three. You could go up. It's like a whole ball dance room, like a party He's place, a disco about ball and shit. If you didn't know. And, yeah, and I went to the third store and I saw a big hornet like this big. So she was gonna kill me. I was taking a piss. Like I looked back <laughs> and she was like twitching in the corner. I was like, hell no. I was, I was trying to finish my piss and I bolted out of there. But I, I caught big ass tags on the window. And if you're if you're an experienced tagger, you gotta realize you gotta write your name backwards or you won't be able to read it on the other side. So I had to. Right. I wrote it backwards, and then you see it from far. And then I told I told my girl we were getting some uh, some churros or whatever from from way back on that spot. I hit her in the el- I elbowed her. I go, look, some guy out here writes Quake too. She looked up. <laughs> she go, you motherfucking fucking. She go, like, I don't know who my mom rents is out to. Like she might do some cartels or something. I don't know. Like, You're like, who's this uh, motherfucker? <laughs> Dude, yeah. I was fucking. Yeah, I, I got one of those, uh, one of those souvenirs. You want to see it? Yeah. Well, yeah, sure. All right, hold on. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my souvenir from Mexico. Woo! Arriba. Fucking a Keith. Let's. Well, I wonder what it could be. A sombrero? Could be anything. A even s- a boat. <laughs> Come on up. <laughs> <laughs> he got some chicle. 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 Then little kids will run up to you and be like, "You want to buy some chicle? You know, little chiclets gum? Remember, have yeah. you ever had those? The yeah. little rectangle, the little white little squares. Oh, a lucha mask. Oh hell yeah, dude! Straight up Pussifer. Fuck yeah, dude. Ooh. Pussifer. Who's that? You never heard of P- Pussifer? It's uh-uh. uh the uh, it's Maynard from Tool. He has another band called Pussifer, and they did a whole album where 
it was all about like lucha wrestlers and shit. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah look it up. It's called Money Shot. Oh shit. That's <laughs> good shit. That's cool. I want a lucha mask. Speaking of mask, come on, get back to the. And then hey. I got this other. Uh, I got this other mask. I guess like around the uh, Christmas time they. They all wear a mask and go out in the street and shit all weird. I don't know. It's a thing they do. And yeah. there's masks that they wear. I bought one. It looked like the mushroom head mask. Nice. And I couldn't breathe in it, so I cut some holes to breathe. I want to see this one. Hold on. <laughs> God damn it. Let me make sure this thing's still recording. Oh, shit. Yeah, the red light's blinking. Oh, you're talking about your phone. I think. What's that? Oh, shit. You look like. Oh, shit. I don't know what you look like. It's like a pumpkin, I think. Right, it looks like a Slipknot mask. Hey, I got a mask. Hold up. Oh, he does got a max. Hey, he got dude, a couple you know maxes. I'm, I'm trying to keep, I don't know if you guys can help me out. Dude. I'm trying to track down this mask so bad. I've been wanting it forever. You know, I was at, uh, I was uh, in a store at the mall. I don't Jeez. know if it was Hot Topic. I think Hot Topic <laughs> had him. But there you was see a Slipknot Kevin's mask. mask. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one. That's the one I was talking about. It was, you know, the Chris one, Chris Chris Finn with the long nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's Split the one I'm, I want to get. One, either the Hot Topic one they had for Halloween, or like a real authentic one. Either one. Um, well, no, never mind. That's more like the uh, like the medieval, where they shoved all the herbs and shit in that them. That looks like the apocalypse uh, hey. shit. Hey, yeah. Joe. The gas Speaking what? speaking of uh, masks, remember way back in the day when we made our own Corey Taylor masks and shit? Yeah, I, I made a Joey Jorson, and my mom had, uh, helped me make a Corey Taylor one, and then wasn't then it I like a Corey Taylor one? So wasn't it just like one. a shirt or something, like a shirt sleeve that you it was stuck just over? Your, <laughs> yeah, it was material. Yeah, it was all material, yeah. And you just one was like, a like cotton. One. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had the I did the dreadlocks and shit. Oh, yeah, shit. yeah, 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 yeah. The old school Corey Taylor when he had dreadlocks. Yeah, man, that was way back, huh? We was young and then I, the, I did the black paint and shit underneath everything. Totally. Damn. I see. I never made and shit like that when I was a, a kid. You know what you should have did? Like you were doing the uh, the Chad Chad Gray or whatever. You, you remember you cut your hair kind of like mine almost. You did the spiky hair. Yeah, yeah. Trying yeah. to do the mud bane. I, have that, those, I have that picture somewhere. I have that picture. You should have got one of those like you know those furry like you know when the strippers wear those like necklaces that are furry. <laughs> should have got one of the light neon blue ones and just taped it to your chin. It would have been a long ass. <laughs> Blue, like a neon blue fucking goatee all along. Yeah, fuck yeah. Or you taped it to your fucking, like, and tied it right up <laughs> You remember the fucking party we had in our backyard, in my backyard over there on Juniper Avenue? Like, when we threw yeah, that. The, the, the treehouse where you had the WWF. Uh, bootleg uh, set up and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, like when me when me and Casey fucking planned a party and our bands played and shit. Oh, and, uh, I saw a yeah. picture of that. Yeah, and it was fucking. That was when I got fucking hit in the pit and that and I flew and I almost hit the trampoline. <laughs> yeah, you flew across the whole backyard, like across the whole backyard. <laughs> That dude had power. He looked like he was a big ass a, dude. Uh, he was just being an asshole. No, he looked like the he looked like the guy from you know that Disney cartoon, <laughs> uh, Mona. That the fucking the one that the Rock. Oh, the Rock. Of. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He was like the big Samoan dude. He looked like that guy. Yeah, yeah. What he like? For sure. He like belly bounce you. Nah, because I was air. in the pit just having a good old time, and this guy like pops out of nowhere, just like I'm gonna fuck this little kid up. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking launches me and I almost like hit my head on the trampoline bar man I like when I finally landed I was under the trampoline so I like barely missed the bar you know what I mean shit dude <laughs> what an asshole <laughs> I was just a kid remember, bro I, I was like the, a freshman the, sophomore or some shit I remember the, the swing the tree house the pot plant and then and then the dog house and then the big acre and then the tree that covered the whole area where you could just smoke drugs if you want, no one see you from way back from the house. And then, um, <laughs> then, then there was like that. The that willow one. tree, right? Yeah, yeah, that tree. Yeah, it looked willow like a big trees are awesome. Down, like, yeah, yeah. Up. We have one in our backyard. 
Dude, did you know I went there when I was out there in California? I went there and said what's up to Frank and uh, Uncle Loop and, uh, you know, all the kids that are over there. I took some video of it. Oh, that one guy still alive? The guy with the nipples on his shoulder? The nipples on his shoulder? What? Uncle Rick? He's got, like, scars. He's got scars and it's like a bump right here. Oh, a dimple. Are you talking about Uncle Rick? He he kind of looks like a like a, a Salvadorian dude. Did he? He he's lived, real dark and he's got like he kind of looks Italian actually. He lived or, in Lido really Creek, Mexican. right? He got he probably got gray hair already, huh? I think who you're t- talking about is dead, Uncle Rick. I think you're talking about who died oh. like a while back. Oh. Okay. You're talking about Frank's brother, name, right? Yeah, it was a guy. He, I remember he was like family. He was like a dude. Like he 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 would go to Randall Pepper and pick up like pollen and shit and go walk <laughs> down there. Yeah. And he had like I remember he wore a tank top and he had a scar. It looked like a nipple. He had a nipple on his shoulder. That's how I remember. Yeah. Him. It was just that like that bone right there just popped out, right? It was like it was. Just, I don't know what it was. It was it like, like protruding. Surgery and there was a scar and like they couldn't do nothing about the little dimple, the little thing. And then that's how it was. So hmm. I, just, I don't know. I was, you know, you're a little kid. You can't help looking at shit. There are people. People's wrong with them and shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, people got flaws on. They're gonna be like, just like when you're a kid, you, you just don't stare. But they'll tell you don't stare. You're little, but you just be like, what oh, the fuck? fuck? Like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like when you're a kid, you can't hold it back. You're like, what the like, fuck is point. that? <laughs> don't don't do that by the curb, please. And then you know, but they'll do it anyway. <laughs> we, we we used to do like if my mom was like hey don't do that we'd be like what you mean this and then do it anyway do it one more time and then run away <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble cause fucking you know like when it comes to like kids you tell them like oh I got candy you know like by the van and I kidnap you like you tell your kids like oh if a stranger says you got candy like well, like my, like it sucks because you say the candy were around my kids she'll be like she'll run right to you that's all like, you know how many times <laughs> I, I got kidnapped it. My oh, God, man. dude! Anybody you says candy, candy, I'm yours. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm you just. You got lost at Disneyland. That shit. I never oh, been to Disneyland. No, I never went to Disneyland either. Well, I got lost at Walmart, and that wasn't fun either. Yeah, <laughs> 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 you're, like, you're a little kid with the family, and then you're over there wandering into that toy you like, and then you're yeah. all over there. You ever do that shit where you try to like hide in the clothes from your mom? Oh and yeah, then, in the and the circle, then, circle yeah, racks and, and shit. And then you try to pop out, but then she's like, "I'm gonna leave you here," <laughs> yeah. and she disappears, and you're like, "Oh shit, oh shit, <laughs> I ain't a supposed to be here like this." Right. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, Duff beer, huh? Good stuff, right? Cheers. Cheers Ping. for Duff beers. Yeah. Um. So, did you hear about that SpaceX shit where they're talking about you go to the moon for free? They got like ten to twelve free spots, but it's bullshit. Yeah, how I feel about that, man. I don't. I don't believe we went to the moon or Mars. We never went there. We Wait, just, hold you know, on we a second. We, we went to those, uh, you know, those little studios, and the, and they have like water and shit, and then. It looks like a studio for like a like an aquarium, and uh, if I can, they just motion motion picture arcs it, and then they make a a little thing for it for people to watch and say it went to Mars, and that's hey, what it was. Hey Joe, um, so I posted uh something like a week ago. It was Joe Rogan and Elon Musk, and you commented and like, what did you comment? You said uh, this guy is bad for humanity I said, I said he's a he's a terrorist to humanity who elon elon musk elon musk is yeah why tell us why dude he dude, he, dude everything that he's involved with has to do with he's uh, involved in awesome constructing shit. ideas to bring 5g and uh you know he's like trying to give you like the alien like vibe like oh we're gonna get to aliens and talk to him and work with them and it's I all don't. garbage, and it's really, it's really just like you know, he's just trying to get things that look cool, and you want to be a part of it, and then it's gonna hurt you, and then he's gonna smile and go, "What's up, guys?" Well, and then you'll be like, "Yeah, man, you're my homie." And he's right there, stabbing you and shit when you're not well, even looking and thing. you can't even feel it. He is That's a business. He's, he's, 
he is a businessman. He wants your money. That's why he did the Dogecoin thing. And then he kept saying to the moon. And now all of a sudden, hey, we got all these free trips to the moon. But that is if you're the billionaire's choice of a woman. Because apparently you know it's going to be Bill Gates all... bought up all the, all the farmland. You heard about that? No. He bought up all the Bill farmland? Bill Gates, he, bought, he, he has all this farmland in like four different states. And then he's now he's trying to say that. Oh, the the stocks are bad. Like the you know the cow, the, all the stock the the stocks are all bad, and and we can't use them and shit. He's gonna try to he's gonna hurt the the meat, and he's attacking the farmers, the local farms, and he's like 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 target. But what right if now. he's, but what if he's like, hey, these aren't healthy. We need no, a better, we need a better source. No, he he's... wants you to eat the veggie burgers at Burger King. You know those ones that are. Uh, and, or, uh, impossible Beyond Whopper. Oh, that. the Impossible Whopper. Yeah, he wants Whopper. you to eat that. <clears throat> he don't want you to go eat a good In and Out burger or anything like Dude, that. Dude, In and Out, bro. That shit's fire, bro. I had... Yeah, I'm gonna talk shit on In and Out because In and Out I think gave me food poisoning. As soon as I got back from Mexico, I had, I'm gonna say I got a gift card for In and Out. I'm gonna get me a nice American burger. You know what happened? Fucking throwing up and shitting everywhere. It fucking got me sick and food poison. How do you know it wasn't from Mexico? Because I was fine the whole time eating tacos. My brother said, you look like you lost weight. I was like, dang, bro. Then you go back to America. You eat our shitty food. Come back. Right away, I eat something toxic. I'm around toxicness. and It's all affecting me and shit. And then right away, it got me sick. And I had to recover, and I'm good now. I'm fucking, I'm fine. I'm like a horse again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Healthy as a horse. Yeah. Shit, let's eat that horse. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Boy, I'll tell you what. So, how's about it, Joe? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to buy some propane or propane some accessories? Propane? Oh, look at this guy with his legal... Um, paraphernalia. Yeah, fucking smoking on. Candy. I wanna. I'm gonna come to Indiana fuck. and I'm be hitting up. I'm gonna come to Indiana. I'm be hitting up the same black guy as you. Don't worry. One day we'll see. <laughs> well, then you're gonna have to come where I live, cause I'm in the. I'm in the. Well, oh, where it's a Mexican guy. Instead. I got a black and a white guy. All right. <laughs> hey. There's nothing wrong with all color dealers and addicts. I don't care. I don't care what color you are. As long as you bring me some shit that I can... As long as it's good and worth it, you know, worth the price. You could be like fucking Edward from Twilight and be sparkly when the sun hits you. I don't give a shit. (laughs) You could be a goddamn purple dinosaur. If you're giving me some good shit at a fair price, I'll buy it. What uh, what about what you're smoking right now? Where'd you get that? (coughs) Dispensary or no? I don't like the place because they they say all the weed's the same. It'll be like fucking uh, Bubba Kush, and then I'll say like Blue Dream. They'll be like, oh, it's the same weed. I'll be like, what the fuck are you smoking? This is stupid. I don't even want to be here. But that's why I just say fuck it. It's just weed, whatever. That's how I am. I don't care. I don't really give a shit about about the weed in Mexico when I was buying it. So check this out. So there, you go to this little ass. The roads are like this big. You can barely fit like two little mini like Coopers right there. And then fucking and you, there, there's a hole in the wall. They took a brick out and they put like a little blanket. And then you and you go up to them. You say "cuanto, cuanto." It means I want, I want. And then they pull it back. And then and then you tell them in Spanish the number of, of weed. And then and then they give the you like a big weed. long bag. <laughs> the and, number and of fucking, weed. <laughs> Yeah, like you tell them like, 69. like say whatever <laughs> amount you want. You know the the smallest amount so is 130 pesos. You got to give them 130 pesos, and then you got then Mexican they give you weed. This long bag of weed. Yeah, I was smoking it the whole time I was there. I was feeding for it because I ain't got shit. So, yeah, bro, I was smoking it like fucking like you know the dudes in Law Creek smoking cigarettes, the buglers every second, rolling one and shit all spun out. Yeah, that's yeah. how it was. I was fucking just smoking. But was up. it? It was decent stuff, or was it like old school brick? Yeah, weed? dude, it got hairs and it'll sticky and shit, bro. I swear to God. That's what's up. Yeah, oh, yeah, but it had seeds like a motherfucker. They were getting the mail plant. See, I haven't, uh, yeah. I haven't seen a marijuana seed in like forever, dude. Right? It's been it's forever. been a while. Sometimes they'll the pop cousins. out of the good weed, but like not very often. 
one of the cousins was like, "Give me the seeds," and he was gonna go plant them. Right. And I was probably gonna get the dad in trouble. They they say they'll they'll come smell your weed and come knock on your door and say, "If you don't give me some of that money, we're gonna kill you or some shit." I don't know. That's what Can I heard. offer you some of this weed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so. But the uncle, the uncle, he took me to the strip club, man. It was nice out there, bro. Really? It was like, yeah, because the stripper, she didn't want the Mexican dudes touching her. Only the white guy can touch her. So they're all, all jealous. Me? And I was all like, only I get to grab her. Oh, <laughs> black. Ah, American hands. She was like, only Weddle touches me. Ooh, like, <laughs> only the Weddle. <laughs> only the gringo. <laughs> Oh, she shit, thought I bro. had all the because they say they think you have all the money, so they're like, "Oh, I want to go with the white guy, the, the brown guy, right. don't touch me, bitch." They're going like that, smacking the. Hand. I know what you got. You were <laughs> he here all like, the time. He was I want. Touch it. He was like, "Bitch, watch out!" And, and then I was like, and then I grabbed it. She was like, "Ooh, like that's okay." I was, I was like, "Damn, this is crazy." And the uncle's all laughing, like, so, <laughs> like because he had like, on the place. We can't take Keith to strip clubs anymore. <laughs> Why is that? You got kicked out of one. The the bouncer no. fucking uppercutted uh, you like if you try to not. grab her snooch in the wrong way. <laughs> I was just kidding. Um, <laughs> I, I almost got kicked out of a strip club. Experiment. I bet you did, man. You're a wild guy. <laughs> Dude, Spearmint Rhino, dude, because this chick, she had no titties, right? I remember like, that like, name, my, dude. Spearmint like Rhino. This. And 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 she was like she was like telling me how I'm trying to put my kids through college or something, and then and then she's like don't touch me you're not allowed to touch me like that right I was like I don't care bitch I just kept doing it and then fucking and then she she was like trying to like trick me because like the other the other girl was like oh if you pay this much I'm gonna do all this and then she was like all oh, I want to give you the like the basic package and then once you're in there and you pay for it and then she like makes you want to pay for longer and then she ends up getting all your money but doesn't have to do the grand package version which is like do more stuff you know so she avoided doing all that and got the same amount of money and she bamboozled me and I got mad and I flipped the uh, ash uh, you know when the, the where they ash the cigarettes and that little thing uh-huh. I fucking knocked it over and then I fucking and then my car, I got my car, and I was revving the engine and shit, and I was yelling. <laughs> the scary guards came out, and they were like, hey, what the fuck? And I was like, hey, fuck you, bitch. Dude, I don't fuck it. I'm not a, I'm not a strip I'm club a, guy, dude. I'm not a big strip really. club guy either. The only... I just feel like they just took all my money and barely did anything. Exactly. That's all they do. Exactly. That's, that's their the whole j- game. That's the job. The only... I, I was like, why can't you make it more worth it and, like, be more enthusiastic about it. But see, this is the thing in Mexico. It was that. It was what she wanted. They were like, she was like acting like that was that's my bitch for the night. She was like putting her ass on me. She grabbed my dick like oh, cupping it and shit. And then she like she was let me grab on her tits. Like I didn't do I didn't get to do none of that over there. Dude, she let me put the money like right on her fucking shit on her string. And I was like fuck, dude, that's crazy because dude over there they barely want you to go near them and shit. Probably dude. think you got COVID. The only strip clubs I've been to is Trixie's in Louisville. That's oh, that was only for concerts, really. That was a concert. I mean, the strip yeah. club was just an added bonus, but they have concerts they there. Don't have any I good saw ones, Mushroom really. Head there, dude. And then uh, after that, um, I've been to one down here, the Silk, which was like terrible. Like I oh, didn't, yeah. that's I did where not they like, have, like that. Knife wounds I only went, and gunshot wounds. I only wounds. went one time with. Uh, you know, With, old Devon. Yeah, <laughs> I'll Devon. say his name. But like, and, and then the last time was with, uh, on my bachelor party. I went. We all went to oh, a strip yeah. club, my wife included, and I was wearing a tutu the whole time, and I got a lap dance with the tutu on. Well, actually, she was like, "You're gonna have to take that off," and then I did. <laughs> yeah, dude. What the hell are you even thinking, dude? Oh, yeah, I was drunk as fuck, dude. Yeah, was... we all wore the tutu at one point, right? Yeah, I wore the tutu. <laughs> it was fucking Man, comedy, dude. I don't ever wear no tutu. You can give me ecstasy mushrooms. I still, ha- all the I still had pants on and, and shit. Want. I just pulled the tutu yeah, over my like. Pants. It's not like it was two two than dick. We, you it understand like, what that means? I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down to you. It's it, a form of ritual. It's because when a man wears a dress, it allows <laughs> like a, a portal to open in the room, and it's a satanic thing. And you gotta understand the the real real thing wow. about it, that stuff like that. That's the only reason why I would never do something like that. So the, are you religious? So if you, so if you wear problem. a dress, the devil's gonna get you. 
No, it's like there's you're gonna have extra demons following you around. Is what it is. <laughs> Are you religious or what? Are they gonna try to fuck you? No, dude. I just believe in. I believe in. There's there's a spiritual realm and there's there's the flesh. There's bones and skin world. There's two of them. So when you die, you go over there. But it, you can't see it, but it's right there. There's all kind of shit going on right now. There's shit floating in your room and my room. We can't see it. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. So gotta, everybody who everybody who oil and you gotta bless over the oil and the water and you gotta get all that so out. So everybody and be like a, a threshold of pure uh, no vibes that are are negative or any of that. So I not get, crystals and so, and little uh, stupid going like this and shit. That shit's all garbage. That's the fake. <laughs> that's the devil again. He's getting you again. <laughs> How do you know your way is right? I don't think anything's good when I say it. I'm just saying this is what I would do. And if you trust me as a friend, you'd be like, oh, maybe it's a good idea and try it out. And if it don't work out, then don't do it. But if it does, then hallelujah, then you got something good for you. <laughs> hallelujah. You know, that's, how, that's, that's how it would work. That's, that's the only way. Um, so you're saying like someone. Like, y'all, go out my kids. She was watching a cartoon. And the kid didn't want to eat the food, and they said, "Take a bite." And then you don't like it, say no, thank you. So take a no, thank you bite is what it is. You you don't have to like eat the whole muffin, but just take a bite. You don't like it, no, thank you. It's a no, thank you bite. You said earlier that pe- there's people who are living and people who are dead, right? Realms or whatever. So is everybody who has ever died in that realm or what? Like it's pretty yeah, crowded. It's pretty waiting, crowded. They're waiting in the- for judge- they're wait they're waiting for ju- judgment day. Like you know, like when everyone's finally dead and there's nothing left, and then everyone gets judged, and then you go wherever you're gonna go, either heaven or hell. And then that's it. So you are religious. I don't know what religious I have, means. I have my ideas, but I like to um. I like to see what's out there. I don't know. Cause like I agnostic, hear, I, I like to hear like different theories. Like there's a theory that like you know like when you die, um, you don't really go to heaven or hell until like Armageddon happens. So you're just kind of well. It's like, like this: you can either go to heaven or you can go to the new earth. And what it is, they're going to destroy this earth whenever the devil rises, when it's the end times fully, and there's nothing left. And then you know, because they're trying to build the third temple right now, uh, and the and they're temple. basically working on. Yeah, it's over there in Israel. And once they do, that's the Antichrist. And then once he rises and everything, and then fucking, and then there's going to be, uh, there's going to be seven years before it happens or before where it's going to be, there's some peace and there's nothing going on. There's nothing really happening. And after that, that's it. And then it's going to, th- this world's going to be done. And then there, there's going to be a new earth. God's already creating it right now. And then all the people that did it right, they're going to go there. And all people that didn't, they're going to be right there. Just like fucking, imagine a homeless guy right there. Well, I think fucking and, worse than a homeless guy, and and his and his skin's all peeled off, and everything burns forever. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a hundred percent on it, but I think there's like a version of the Bible where it's like, um, God will come, the end times will start, and then the seven years is after he's arrived, and after. Yeah, yeah. So after the, I know um, there's a rapture part. Yeah, I don't know the how rapture. That so it's work. seven years yeah. after the rapture. There's a part in there somewhere that's going to be that, and I don't know which part. Yeah. So like the rapture it's happens, somewhere in there. and then you have seven years of peace before hell comes to earth, and then that's just the hell's. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I know Kevin. Is that what you're he, talking he about? Like, he would, he would like, uh, you know, do sketches of people hanging themselves when he was a kid. So I'll blame him why. He- really care about this type of stuff that's just not what hey because i, I remember remember uh bob's shit. brother when we were doing the bands and shit and bob that's that's right the on. devil's music he was all sleeping on the couch remember that short guy what justin's Wait. dad's brother oh i think so he was like that's the devil music and he sounded like bob like fucking uh water boy one of the characters <laughs> you, he's like that's the devil music and I was, and then fucking i was a little kid and i just liked it because it was rock and roll and then i was like oh really it's the devil music and he was like yep yeah. i was like well i'm gonna go listen to the devil music then later right <laughs> i'm gonna hang out with the devil for a while I we'll remember. Yeah, I remember. I, like I just didn't. I didn't care. Like you're gonna say that and ruin the music. Then I guess. But now I understand what he meant. Now, now I do. But then I didn't. That's the point. I remember when like your mom saw like what a Hatebreed CD 
and she she broke it or whatever because she thought they're a racist band, but they're not racist. Yeah, and I tried so hard to look for songs from them that say like. <laughs> Or something or nothing. I couldn't find it. There was, there was no fucking. Let's go get together with our white hoodies and fucking burn crosses. Nothing like there was nothing like that. So I was like, Do you still like Hate Breed? No, nah, they're a good band, dude. They got a, a few hits in my in my my opinion. Yeah, like, dude, they got some catchy just, shit. They for just real. weren't. I, I think the hate part just probably they just said it to look cool. I don't know, and then didn't like, really hate people breed, thought something like, else. A breed of people who hate. A breed of people that hate everything, and people <laughs> like you. <laughs> I, I, you know, I heard this wise man say a, a true racist hates even his own race. Because how how you gonna be so racist? You, you be like, fucking fuck yeah, my white skin too, piece of shit. Everything's fucking stupid. Fuck everyone. That's, like, that's more like word. nihilism, I think. Oh, you is just that it? hate or just well, not quite nihilism. Nihilism. What is not, that? That sounds like a cool band name for a death metal band. <laughs> Nihil- it's like you don't really care about anything. Life means nothing. That's uh, like an atheist or something, no? Uh, not quite. No, not really. But they do care about something. What do they care about? Uh, more about humanity, I guess, and science and uh, you know, shit oh, like that. Oh, they choose science over religion. That's what it is. Yeah, for sure. He, so science tells you that you die and then nothing happens. You just go black. I feel like, if anything, it's more like your energy is recycled. Everything's recycled. That's how I feel about it. More like Post a reincarnation. Kind of like reincarnation. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. But I mean, it'd be funny to think that they used to try to say, like, I remember people's theory. Like, if you're a piece of shit and you come back, you come back as something shittier than where you were. But if you were awesome, you come back as something more dope. Yeah, that would be a neat like, fucking operation. But, you know, I, I don't, don't believe it, but it's a cool idea. You it know? is a good idea. I mean, cool. It, it's not a good. It's just cool. Like, it's cool. Like, yeah. I don't think it'd be a, a fall through plan, but it'd be like, well, let's do it for a day and see how it is. And then we're talking about back. reincarnation. Oh, Okay, cool. That's plausible, right? Wouldn't you say? It's totally feasible. It's like everything recycles, man. Yeah. Things regenerate. You know, it's like Mother Nature and shit. All right. You ever have, like, deja vu? You're always like, oh, shit, have I been here before? Yeah. Dude, deja vu. What do you think deja vu means? Is it it's a glitch like in the Matrix. Is that what it is? No, nah, I don't know. I'm just saying. Honestly, I think it's just hey, like you have so good. How many times? It's like the you... best thing I can, uh, you can come up with, probably to say is something. Hey, makes sense. we should put a pin in this real quick because what did you think of on the wizard? Uh, do you think if somebody with one hand does sign language, is that a speech impediment or an accent? Uh, <laughs> impediment. I would go with impediment. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, where were we? <laughs> <laughs> We do this thing on our podcast. If someone takes a piss during the podcast, we ask them what did they think of while they were pissing. What did you think of on the wizard? Yep, it's a segment. Every time you do stuff like that, it always reminds me when you were little and you fucking, you did the thing. I always tell you don't remember, but I'll say it one more time. Go ahead. It was like you, you it was like the South Park turd sandwich and the douchebag, but instead of that, it was your own two different names, and you created, and you asked everyone in the household, because you live with like 10 people, <laughs> they all asked them, like, which one did they vote for, and you had a little box, oh. and you put whatever you put it. Uh, who do you think would win in a fight? Dude, I do kind of remember that. I saw a fake president, but it was like stupid names, just like the South Park I, <laughs> I do kind of remember that, man. You should. I'm saying you should. I'm bringing it up now. That's it way funny, back, you man. You should do something like that again on here. You should do something like that again. Let's do <laughs> it. Sim- I don't even know. remember what kind of. Did I just make up random names, or was it just. Like I think you thought people it was name? South Park episode before it was created. Uh, so what, what, what was it like? <laughs> Douche canoe and coochie sploosh. Who wins in a fight? Yeah. Oh, you're trying to remember the name? I don't. Was? Yeah, I don't know what kind of names. That was I just making up? Maybe it was like Joe Jack Jr. And then oh. <laughs> I remember that, dude. <laughs> Damn, that's fucking insane, bro. I haven't thought. 
<laughs> I haven't thought of that in fucking forever. Joe Jack Jr. Joe Jack Jr. <laughs> because I told my I told my girl if we have a boy, I'm naming him Joe Jack Jr. for sure. <laughs> There's not even a senior. He's just gonna be a junior. <laughs> Oh, Joe Jack is your real father. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Jack is the guy from King of the Hill. He's the one that's like, yeah. what do you say, honey? Or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that works with Hank at the propane. Yeah, it works with Hank. Oh, man. Joe Jack Jr. <laughs> oh, man, that's fucking added, funny. Added another J in there for more alliteration. <laughs> Oh, the name would be JJJ. Yeah, Triple yep. J. Triple oh, J. Mr. J. Mr. J. Mr. J gonna be you happy about this. You want to know something funny, song. dude? What's hey, up? remember that cartoon, the PJs, the black family name? Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Living Claymation. in the PJs. Hey, but you know what's funny is on uh, Adult Swim, they just came out with a new show. It's called The Jellies. It's the family, and they're all they have black voices, and they're jelly floating around and shit talking i think shit. i've seen a <laughs> ad for that or something i haven't dude i was like dude it reminded me of the pjs because instead of like being black people that they, they're just called the jellies instead of that the pjs like peanut butter and jelly yeah it's just jelly and then they have the black voices and shit oh i get it i see the similarities so they're not like jelly yeah, yeah, yeah. fish it's just like still black and floating still jelly, jelly. what's it's that still funny on some cartoon what's that quote you always say from pjs Oh, so uh, I gotta come in because Master P took a Master Poo. Now I gotta come in and do some Master Plumbing. <laughs> Dude, that show, I haven't seen that show. That forever. was Eddie Murphy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Eddie. Eddie Murphy. Eddie yeah. Murphy. Charlie Murphy. Well, you see, Master P came in and took a Master Poo. Now I gotta do some Master Plumbing. All right, I'm gonna go take my whiz now. You guys don't let there be All dead right. air, okay? Right. <laughs> So I'm going to ask you one of my wizard thoughts. Do you ever think, uh, do you think if Superman drank some Sunny D, he'd get stronger? I got a cool idea for a mask. Don't take my idea. I'm going to patent it in a week, so go ahead and try it. No, I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> I'm not creative enough like to do magic. a mask. No, but listen, here's the idea. So what you do is you... Uh, you know how, like, if you want to take it, you know, there's people who are real scared and just really, like, they're in fear and they're wearing all, like, triple masks and shit. Uh-huh. Well, like, the guy that doesn't want to take his mask ever, maybe, like, you put, like, <clears throat> there's a hole for a straw or something, and then, like, and then you pull this thing over and it slides over where it covers it, and then you pull it back and then it opens it and the hole's open again, you know, or something, like, yeah. and then you could, or, like, a whole, like, a piece well, where just, like, you could just food slide it back over if you're you gonna I mean? do like that, that that's super scared if you're gonna do that could you do like the uh like the rip off like underwear and just do that little the little pull the little double crossover so you just kind of like pull it apart and then you could do whatever like some under so like Maybe some whitey like, tidies uh, you know, like the like the the onesies with the back door trap like that well no 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 like underwear just like boxer briefs or whitey tidies or whatever not like boxers where it's got the button but like you know you uh, just kind of like separate it okay, so uh, got we it. got an idea Kevin what's that so you know those you know those onesies that have the back, the trap door in the back, so you can take a poo and not take the whole thing off. Right. Yeah. So imagine a mask where the guy that's really scared of he doesn't want to take his mask off ever, almost like teeth, but not as bad. And that wasn't because his, of COVID. Uh, that was just because I had no teeth. No, I'm, I'm saying like the trap door, like, and it was the mask that he could just open a window so he can just eat his food or his drink and then put it back. But it's still not taking the mask off, just like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That little thing just slides over, so it gives you the the <laughs> other. So it's like triple mask. You got one, you one's just the mouth, and then the second one is I'm gonna slide it over for the hole, put it back, <laughs> and then it's the other one. You know, right. so it's like all. And then I was saying that's complicated. That you could just do like underwear. Like whitey tidies. Oh yeah, fuck yeah! Put you some see, underwear just, over your head. You're gonna tie uh, boxers over your head with a rubber band and just get the, the <laughs> little keyhole open. And 
much. Yeah, like <laughs> cut whitey, out a couple like eye the holes, whitey, like the whitey tidy style, where you just like slip your wiener through, where yeah. you just kind of got the two pieces of fabric. Yeah, plus you'll look like a luchador, like like you were earlier. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with the you know. Are you ready to eat? <laughs> the uh, <laughs> tidy whiteys is that what they call them? Yeah, tidy whiteys or like if you ever wore like boxer briefs. I haven't worn those since fucking I was like seven. Oh, like grade school, yeah. <laughs> Switched to boxers. I'm a boxers real quick. man. Yeah. First transferred over to that to boxers. I was wearing both because I didn't know what to do. It was an awkward stage, so <laughs> I had my boxer brief break. I still wear. I still. He's wearing boxers. both. I wear boxer briefs from time to time. I've still got some. Oh, like, that's like the long ones, but they're still they that's hug like you. A mix, about the it's double. like a mix. It's like you got boxers and the yeah, part together. yeah. I've never had those ones. Um, Not the fucking wrestler ones. They're basically tidy whities with little um, legs. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah, they're like, but like if you get them a little too small, like they fuck, they squeeze the shit out of your thighs. Now, now they have those underwears where they have separate pockets for your balls and your dick. What? Yeah. They're, Ooh, that's weird. I feel like I'm getting a hand job on my <laughs> Right? <laughs> they're called Sheath or something. Hey, Sheath, sponsor us. Yeah, I always dude, hear I'm about like them on podcasts. I'll try it out. Shit. <laughs> That'd be weird. A different but I'll pocket try it. for your dick yeah. and your balls, bro. Yeah. My girl's been telling me, Alicia, I'm going to get you a pair of elephant chunks. El- <laughs> oh, yeah. A banana hammock. Do the whoo. Yeah, banana hammock. There it is. Um,. What I thought of on the wizard. Yeah, what did you think of on the wizard? Well, I'm excited to, you know, uh, put out this next vlog episode. Have you been seeing my yeah, vlogs? Yeah, dude, have you watched the vlog where he went to Cali? Uh, For some of it. There was, yeah. the, there was the one, the day one where we got there and we met up with Doug and we went to the uh, dispensary, got weed and all that, and then did the podcast at Gabriel's. And then the yeah. second one was uh, my dad's memorial. And then this one that I'm about to put out, because it's almost done, is uh, where we climb the, hi- hike the mountain and we fucking spread his ashes all over the mountain. Pretty cool. Yeah. I just had to put that out there. So look forward to that one. Look forward for to like it. Followers, subscribers, all that. Check it out on YouTube. So what what are you doing? You on the move? You going? You moving somewhere? <laughs> no, I'm just uh, see. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys something. You probably think I'm crazy, but all right. If you look, shoot it. Right. See see this? Yeah. Fluorescent ball. Uh, energy saver spinny one. Yeah. Yeah. The, if you if do the the real true 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 research on them. What they do is they throw off your mood. They make you they make you frustrated, and, and, and it you, you'll be like, "Hey, fuck you, bitch! Your girlfriend, but you didn't mean it. It's because of that." And, and, uh, <laughs> that that, that, just get, get, that just sounds like an excuse. That just sounds like an excuse to talk shit to your girlfriend. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. That was that was a light bulb. It's throwing me off. You fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. No. Go ahead. <laughs> But uh, so, so trying to get rid of all the regular round ones that are, are trying to make everything LED because the, everything connects to the 5G like that with the LED and the, and all the street lights. So what? I don't know when you, that. When you say 5G, what do you think it is? Because 5G just stands for fifth generation. That's not what it means. They're saying that, but really, what it means? Because it, I know there's that weapon. experiment that they had with okay. five gigahertz. You know, you know the you know the ray. rioters. But that's not the and same then, thing. They try to, they try to, they try to uh, get rid of the cr- the crowd at the crowd disperser, and they point it, and and they they start getting all weird, and they're frazzling their brain. Yeah, they, I know what you're talking about. Because the radiation, that's radiation, and that's what it does. The five G when you're on the tower, when you're around um like your your modems and your computer, like the Wi Fi, like the the boxes and but you know and all the different things that put out uh, AMF, those are the things. That are bothering your your insides and damaging your DNA, your sperm cell, all that shit gets it's slowly damaging you forever. Like you can't undo it. So, so what's the difference between 4G and 5G? Because you know those are two separate see, projects. See, we could have just stayed at 4G and we would have been fine forever. 
we didn't need to do anything else, but then... Be but the do you remember when cell phones further. first came out and they said they gave you tumors if you held it out? Like, people just... Yeah, yeah, People yeah, just exactly. say shit. And people don't listen. That's why I always go to speakerphone and people But you go, still have a cell phone. I'll be like, oh, well. Yeah, people I, don't... I don't... I don't ever answer my <laughs> phone and put it... In my ear. I'll never, ever... But do you that still have it in your pocket every day. I never have, keep it in my pocket. I put it in airplane mode or I leave it in the car. I don't go to the bathroom with it. None of that. I don't, I don't put it by my pillow. I put it away from me. Airplane mode. I don't put it in my pocket ever. I keep it in a bag. Like I'm not lying, dude. I'm telling you straight up. I don't know, man. But you know bananas seem, are radioactive, right? Seem a little paranoid. Everything's radioactive. Right, like potassium, all that shit. Like bananas are technically radioactive. But so I, I don't see why everybody's one. freaking that, out about like... Oh, no, that's a conspiracy theory right there. So that's the one you don't believe. Okay. I need bananas, man. I need potassium. Bananas are good for you. They're trying to take that away from you, too. Potassium is good for you. Baboons eat them all day. They don't. They're not fucking laying around dead. Somewhere but you know, they're, they're you know how people are like against GMOs. But you know that bananas are actually the extinct. GMOs are bad. But you know bananas are a GMO. The GMOs are everywhere. I know like, they're everywhere. You know, like banana. Like when you eat a banana flavored laffy that's what taffy. I was talking about Bill Gates buying up all the farmland. That's He's a banana. The one that created all that. But those He's bananas the one are that extinct. All that. They had an infection, and all those bananas are extinct. So every banana that you have eaten in your life is a GMO. Yeah, I know. I've consumed all kinds of GMOs. But you just said you do not. You just said it like, but like, there's a lot of shit that you eat that is a GMO. Yeah, I know. Tons of shit. So I don't know why everybody's freaking out about it. All it means. Bill Nye says it's totally safe. All it means is they change the sequence in its DNA. Five G's bad. What you are were you talking about radiation? But 5G the is not 5G is not a radiation. It's not a, a signal. It's the fifth generation of the broadband that they have. All the research or anything you've learned about it was all mainstream uh, content. It was never like so, an outsource. So problem. is this somebody on YouTube? You know about it? You're wrong. Yeah, they won't let. They'll ban it. You gotta go to another source. But do you YouTube, know that not you, you realize that is an entertainment platform that is meant for likes, subscribes, shares. It's meant to entertain you enough to watch it. Doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Yeah, ours isn't entertaining. Is <laughs> that's good. Ours is. I just always shit on my but... own show. <laughs> But I just I don't see how like I don't know man. I don't know like, I don't know how you freaking like the five G thing. I really don't get because it's not like I know they're mixing up. It's everybody's mixing up that that different project, the five G wavelength. It's the, too complex for the normal mind to comprehend. That's the problem because not everybody's not, you know educated really to understand most of the shit that's going on around the way. Educated enough you know, to know the difference yeah, between the two 5Gs, but be, not enough to know that's a conspiracy theory, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how conspiracy <laughs> theorists do it, man. How do you... You can find how do a you pattern go, in anything you it, want. It, it, it's, how do you go like, on all day you, just with the... When uh, you watch The Matrix, you know when he takes that the pill and then he's like, it's different lingering after that. On you your can't mind. go back to his normal life. I can't go back to my normal life. It's different. Every, everything everything affects it affects everything you know everything you do everything you you know what associate with people like it affects everything you it doesn't matter like it, it, it does suck you know but, but I'd rather do that than live a lie every day of my life like most people do. where do you get yeah. your info Alex Jones <laughs> No, hell no, Alex Jones. I, I probably listened to him for 10 minutes to change the channel. I'm just, I just don't like that people just... You'll hear somebody that you admire, that you think... It's like he's like a mascot to like point at and make fun of, to make conspiracy theorists look like retards, you know? So <clears throat> that's just how that is. I don't... I mean, I, I'm kind of retarded. I know that there are some <laughs> conspiracy theories that have been turned out to be true, but I think for a lot of the conspiracy theories... That's the theories, thing about when he tries to talk to Joe Rogan, he tells him, it's like, there's so much shit, 
and then some of it's garbage, and then some of it's not true, and then there's so much truth in there that they think all of it's garbage. Yeah. Is, all of that what turned out to be not true, so maybe it's all just the same thing. But, but in my, if you, if it, but does it mean if one thing's true, it's all true either? Yeah. So you got to go by each thing yeah. as you go and just figure it out. For Every, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but I don't like like when people call other people sheeple. If you use that word. Sheeple. You are is, the sheeple. My, you want if you want to know yeah, my I definition like of a sheeple. <laughs> if you like, really want to know the definition of a sheeple, this is what it is. If if you think you need to wear a mask, if you if you think you need to wear a, a, get a vaccine, if you think you you can't go visit your family because you're gonna hurt them, if you think you can't be around your your friends and family, shake their hand, give them a hug, if you think you're gonna give them a sickness because the news told you to. That's definitely a sheep, in my opinion. If you think the presidents are there for you to help you, and you voted for a good guy, and he's okay, got the best so for you, that's all garbage. If so, did you that, accept that money sheep. that they gave you? There's no way around money. If did you take that money that they gave you? That, I didn't get any stimulus. This last I doubt one that. that. Passed, I didn't get you shit. got that stimulus money. Yeah. You didn't say shit about it. You take that tax check every year. I you didn't say shit one. about that. You like the government the when it's giving you something, and when you hear something you don't like, you like to get all fucking shitty about it. Money's always gonna be around, isn't it? And you like talk shit. Cryptocurrency. Like it's talk going... shit about the government. Like, of course, they're fucking you. That's their whole game. Like, but it's oh, we're giving. totally. I I fucking for sure. I'll take the money, but I know you're fucking me. Fucked by the government. Yeah, <laughs> like I'll take your money. We're for sure. And there's. I know you sure. don't give a shit, but I'll take your fucking money. Mm-hmm. Um. <clears throat> but. W- <laughs> anyway, I don't like talking about conspiracy theories like that, but. What? <laughs> That's his whole stick. That's his whole stick, It gets me all man. worked up because Something people don't... Something you gets bothered because what you, everything you know is someone telling you, nope, that's not right, and you're like, it, it puts you out of whack. It, no, it I don't like that people... There, and, and you're like, I don't like that feeling go away because it's something... You're bur- it's like I'm bursting your bubble. No, your bubble I just don't like that people to. think don't think for themselves. Like, does this make that's sense? That's what you're not doing. Critical that's thinking. Exactly so so i think so i it's more logical to think that there is a secret organization that has spent over a hundred years to do a simple plan than to think that maybe the government is ran by lazy people that are the same people that work at walmart that just don't want to do their job and get a fucking paycheck for doing nothing it's all together. It's that and the. It's, it's the same. It's, it's no, like, it's not. It's not like it's one or the other. It's all no. The, you just want there to be a bigger picture to everything when there's really not. Well, I guess. <laughs> I, it's just people are fucking lazy and they're That's stupid. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, and when people take that away from someone, then that's. Like you're now a terrorist because you're taking my freedom away of being able to say what I want. Isn't that what podcast is for? I'm not if saying you that. Say you have it, you've said everything you wanted, you wanted you want to, to say. To get your voice, your opinion out there, and everyone has has Kevin can say what he thinks. You can say what you think. I say what I think, and then they don't have to. That's clash, what they're. But that's what do, we're doing right now. You have to eliminate what I what I want to put out there. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of like. It's like, it, see, this is how it works. You know the Mr. Smith and the Matrix? It's like every time you bring up something like conspiracy theory, it bothers them because it's the world that they, they're trying to protect that goes well, no. all the way to the top. And as soon as I bother them, it's like you're trying to put me out there like a red flag, like, oh, this guy's going against what we're all programmed to think. Well, and no. That, and then it, it, like, irritates you, and then it's like it's the same thing as the Smith agent. No. Whenever, it, like, you, you, yeah. you spoke your opinion. And then I spoke my opinion, and we're both trying to just talk it out. I'm not telling you that you're wrong. You're not telling me that I'm wrong. We're just talking about it. These are your opinions. These are it's, my opinions. Yeah, they are all opinions, and it's really, you can't, we like, I'm can't not saying, say factually. I'm not yeah, saying shut the fuck up. I want to talk to you about it. Like, these are my opinions. Those are your opinions. 
If you I can change my I mind, talk to my family for a whole year because of this shit. If you, you know can that? change my mind, I I'll go with shit. you. I went through a lot of shit for the shit that I believe in. You know, it doesn't mean it, it means something to me. I know most people think I'm just going on the internet looking at random stupid shit. But oh, I believe that, and then to go tell people, and then I'm 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 with the news is saying I'm I'm like the the fake news that just like over here just trying to stir up bullshit to get yeah. people going. That's not. It's not but, even it at all. It's the opposite of anything. But I don't watch the news. I don't really keep in touch with all that shit. So, like, if it doesn't make sense it's to me... The, it's called the... Uh, it's mainstream. Whatever's mainstream. Anything mainstream, it's tainted. You can't trust it. That's all I'm trying to... That's the bigger message what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's but I'm just trying to think logically, out. like... Does this... Alternative media is always better than mainstream media. That's all I'm trying to say. Maybe not always. Well... <clears throat> On that note, I don't think we're getting to the bottom of this <laughs> anytime but soon. But anyway, I like but we've done we've done an hour. Um, it was an interesting episode. <laughs> I think we had fun, right? <laughs> yeah, it's been no, an dude, hour. It's we, like we can minutes. we right. can agree to disagree on things. Like, and you I know? don't want you to think I'm just trying to be yeah, an I'm asshole sure you're to a you. Cool guy, I probably could party with you, but like, it's like I think you think a certain way, and it it collides with what I'm trying to say, and you get bothered by it. you don't want to talk. You you're used to having fun and laughs and giggling. I understand, but it's it's okay to hear in there and say some shit. It's like, well, that sounds crazy, and then you go look it up. Well, I like to and, and then well, don't I like to hear like, the crazy. theories. I just I I don't have to agree with everything, but I still like talking about it. I still like hearing different don't, theories. Don't you think you're you're? I don't, I, I don't want to be the dark cloud in the room talking about negative. So I don't want I don't want you to feel like shit. I'm trying to be an asshole to you or like I'm trying to be like I don't like I like hearing about Dude, the theories. I, I know you guys clown on Alex Jones, but I know you guys like Joe Rogan. You fucking watch them both talk the whole time. It's like Alex Jones is just trying to say something. And then I still the don't like Drummond's that people to, like, take battle. Joe Rogan. I still don't he, like, like that. He battles like what he's trying to say and like and doesn't really like try to let him get it yeah. out and then just be like, okay, here it is. And then you could go from there. And he kind of like he, he tramples over just him trying to get it out and trying to just yeah. like have a voice. And that's the problem. And then I feel like it, that's not fair to him because, you know, even though I make fun of him, still you should just hear him out one time. Maybe he has something to say. You know, it might yeah. be something. And I still don't that's think. I still don't like that people take Joe Rogan so seriously. Like, he is a yeah, comedian. I, know. I don't either. Like, he's, he's a fucking no, comedian. He, he actually searches, like, for the truth and shit. Well, yeah, like, that's fine and all, he's but taking he's... taking in a lot of information, and he actually retains that information, and but he spouts he's... it back, and it's, you know... He's still a fucking comedian. Experts. Anyways, <laughs> this has been a great episode. It was fun. Yeah. Don't, we had we had some. Um, don't get too bent out of shape, you guys. No, I don't. I always like. I don't. I don't take anything in, like uh, this. Not, doesn't take it to heart. It's just. Uh, you can have a heated discussion. You don't have to be nice about every discussion. Totally. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and uh, close this off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm aggressive. You got you got any last words? Um, Sheboygan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, man. All right. Take it easy, everybody. And if you're at All that right. flaw show, we'll see you there. Fuck yeah. Watch metal. Yeah. New metal. Let's fucking go. Let's do it. Let's bring back concerts. Toodles. Thanks for hanging out, man. Toodaloo. Thanks, guys. Been up all night doing coke. I need to look at some weird shit to come. <laughs> <laughs>